what is going on guys welcome back to a brand new video so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the headliner off of the classic and we're going to number one fix our speakers on the driver's side and then we're also going to paint that thing black to match the dash so let's get to it all right guys so everyone that has a classic always wonders how you take this thing out well today i'm going to show you how clearly you can see you know instead of having to rip these speakers out um uh, i'm gonna try to show you the proper way to do it i guess but i wasn't successful the last time i tried but this time i'm pretty confident that i can get it done so yeah let's get started so first things first guys we're gonna start with these bolts here that one there and then probably gonna take these off and then start with those so get to it all right guys so here's what we got we got this these two panels off so this middle one this piece and that piece okay sitting right there or right there so you got screw here 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 you just pull these out right here this has three screws pull this one down then for these you got to pull this whole thing down to take all these screws out there all these screws out here so yeah Oh, it's a task, man. All right, guys, so we got it all down. We got that panel down. I had to take off this stupid spotlight that I had, so we're getting rid of that. And uh, there's that p panel right there. I'm probably gonna end up uh, painting this thing black to match the, uh, what's it called? Match the rest, so that'll be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, next is the actual headliner itself so let's get to it i wanted to see what one of these look like without this headliner there you go so yeah i had to take this stupid plate off and then i just pushed it this way and it came out you don't have to unbolt that stupid uh handle over there so yeah you see all these stupid wires I'm gonna have to go through that and uh yeah, this is a wire for some light. Oh, this is for the uh, stupid spotlight. And these are for the speakers, but clearly the speakers don't want to work on this side. So it's going to be a mission figuring out why it doesn't want to work. So, yeah. So time to get our tester and uh, see what's going on here. All right, guys. So here we are. Got a light little coat. Still got to do this. Trying to set the camera up some way so y'all can see, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen today. So I'm just gonna finish the coat and then I'll get back to you guys. So there's the first base coat, nothing too crazy. Remember when you're prepping this stuff with that prep, you're gonna want to uh, just throw one light coat. I'm gonna do basically three coats. And then uh, final coat and then uh, we should be uh, good to go. So All right guys, so we just prep sprayed this uh, interior piece and now we're about to just hit it with this. So, uh, yeah, I think I can maybe set you guys up somewhere. So, let's see how it turns out. All right, guys, so here we are. It's day two. And as you can see, the sun's going down because we didn't get a lot done. But what I did was, is what I've been doing most of the day, I had to fix this again. I had to buy another air horn because uh, this wasn't long enough and the other one wasn't long enough. And the new one was leaking that we had. So now... I ran the speaker wires through the freaking uh, head unit itself. Here it is. <clears throat> and I tested it and it all works. And now we're basically just gonna tuck this back in. So we don't need that. Um, so let me show you how I mounted the speakers. If you punched these out, you're pretty much SOL. So, but normally this is what you would use. It has these four screws right there, okay? And it normally sits just like this up above this well just like this flush whatever all the holes line up and that's what you would mount your speaker to which is right here and then you would just screw them down like that but <clears throat> since we messed up clearly as you can see what i did here a lot of mess ups but i got these to sit in flush and i got the speaker to sit you know a, a decent way we're gonna cover these up somehow um but you know it kind of is what it is as you can see from the back the the normal five by fours for these don't fit at all well after market doesn't fit because this piece is too tall and once you put this up against uh that over there it's not gonna fit 
So, um, I went with these little four, what are these, like four by, four by fives, or something like that, four by six. So, I'm gonna show you basically how to do it. Basically what I did is I mocked it up as so, and then you look at it from the front, you make sure it's just kind of flush. And then we're just going to use these brackets right here on, on both of them, on both sides. We just screw it through and that's it. <clears throat> All right guys, so here we go. First panel. So there you guys have it. That's the first one done. Bada bing, bada boom, just like that. Off to the next one. Alright guys, there's the other one done. Now for this piece. Remember guys, this stuff dries fast, so yeah. So there's a the finished product from tan to black, just like that. So, and once you, uh, once they dry, I guess just see if there's any dry spots on any of them, like if it's not equally black or whatever. But yeah, that's how you do that. Next, time to put this puppy back in. Um, and uh, finally get it put together and then tomorrow finish, so yeah. All right guys, so the headliner is kind of in, um, but we're gonna continue tomorrow and wire up all the wires, tuck everything up, and finally bolt everything down. Um, so yeah, 
Oh, it's quite a job, man, doing this by yourself. But uh, it's gonna definitely be worth it in the end. So I'm definitely excited. It'll be uh, something different. It'll kind of match the dash and the doors and all that. And then that piece is also black on that side. So yeah, guys, we're gonna close it off for today. Continue on day three. So we're just letting that dry. And then, uh, yeah, we're just gonna throw it in the truck. And then we'll be back tomorrow, and then we gotta clean everything up, so. All right, guys, so here it is, put in. So basically, I took that stupid handle off because it's honestly dumb, and I don't really want it. Uh, so, first things first, what I did is I, is I pushed it in, I put one bolt, and then I pushed this back. And I put this bolt right here in, then I moved to this side. I put that one in up there, Okay, then I moved to this one. I pushed it up and I basically sat it flush. I pushed that side in too and then I put that screw right there in. And as you can see, it sits all flush. And the next thing to do is to put this top piece on, um, but make sure that you got your CB wiring and all that jazz all good. Um, Mine used to run through the window, this little triangle window. So basically I ran it through the old spotlight hole and I cut this end and I just pushed it through uh, because, you know, I clearly, I want to do something different because like water kept coming in every time I got a wash because the, the freaking wire, the guy at the CV shop did that. So pretty dumb, but whatever. Um, anyways, so now we got this new one we're all good air doesn't leak through there um we got our cb good uh next is this panel right here this one might be a little tedious um but honestly the way it's been going it seems pretty simple just don't forget this piece right here as well which is right there for me um i painted this and this piece uh black just so it would look a little nicer in here um, as you can see, this panel that I painted black turned out pretty nice. I like it much better than the gray, like the door panel is. But would I recommend the paint that I use? Probably not. Um, after talking to some people, I would definitely recommend using the, the vinyl and fabric uh, paint instead of uh, the plastic paint that I used on this because I use the plastic paint on these pieces. And you can see how they turned out. They turned out pretty good. So, you know. I mean, I don't know, man. It is what it is. I'm not really too, I guess, bummed about it. Because it's still black. Which, that's what I wanted. So, I didn't do any of the insulation up here. Because, honestly, it doesn't really even matter. Um, it's kind of dumb to do it. Because you still got the, out, the outer layer. You know. And if you can't even do the the little sound deadening and, and that then it's kind of no point in my opinion so maybe one day i'll drill these rivets out and then do it but other than that probably not so yeah we're gonna finish up with this and then uh project will be done the good news is speaker does work which i'm definitely happy about um minus the way that we did it but whatever um i don't really care the speakers work I'll probably just add like a little mesh grill that the Rockford Fosgate speakers come with and that'll kind of be it for that. Um, so yeah. Alright guys, so here's everything installed. This piece is black, that piece is black. And uh, I think it turned out pretty good in my opinion. I still need to put the visors and everything down uh, and the little chrome pieces. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I like it definitely uh different i know it doesn't match with the inside but we're just gonna leave all this because i'm not gonna bother um i just wanted all of this to be black just because um that's just kind of how i wanted it from the beginning but i definitely think i messed up on this but you know we're just gonna have to live with it and until one day maybe we find another replacement headliner but it is what it is so but yeah guys so once again one two three four five six then you got like a couple under here like screw wise you got one there you got all these so yeah um these just pop in 
So, uh, yeah, you can see some under here. Yeah, guys, it's pretty straightforward to take this thing off. Like, once again, take one, uh, unscrew this, pop these out, unscrew this whole panel right here, okay? Like, I'm talking about those bolts, too, those under there, this, 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 okay? And then what you want to do is this will just kind of come down. Make sure you don't have anything here like I did. I had that stupid, uh, what's it called? That, uh, what you call that thing? That air horn? Oh, no, the spotlight. Then I had a little light here, which probably going to take those bolts out too. So, but yeah, other than that, man, then you just got to unscrew that, uh, try to get it past that handle. Well, what I did was is I slid this forward. And then it just kind of came down, so I only took that one screw out, but I'm not even putting that stupid uh, handle back because I don't really care. Uh, so yeah, um, this is what it's going to be for the time being, so I'm pretty happy about it. We're going to put this back together, and I'll catch you on a bit. Alright guys, so here is the finished product for everybody with everything put in. We got the little side panels put on. Everything's all good there. Um, so yeah. Oh man, once again, I still didn't get the visors because I want to paint that thing still. So, I think it turned out pretty good, if I do say so myself, for the finished product. Um, definitely looks way nicer than I thought. Some people keep telling me to paint all of these black, but I don't know. I really don't want it to smell like straight paint up in here. I'm gonna have to air this thing out with some air fresheners and whatnot so but yeah i'm gonna take this visor home paint this with the vinyl and fabric and uh i gotta get some extra screws because i guess along the way i lost some i got some extra bolts there but i don't know it's it's whatever so but other than that um no more air leak there we fixed the air leak on the tanks in the back we shortened the shifter to my liking so I'm happy about that. So there you go. Um, next thing to do is to fix this side, get this panel finally back on. And I know it's been bothering a lot of people. Uh, but we also got to fix the air leak in the AC thingy again. It's been like a year since I replaced that whole thing. But we still got to fix it. So. so guys, there you have it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that small tutorial on how to basically remove this whole panel and to replace your speakers fix that little air leak from the horn if you have one um so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video make sure uh subscribe share and all that stuff because there's going to be more how to's to come um you know when it comes to the classic because you guys know there ain't no videos out there like you know the ones that i make there, there just really isn't um, I try to make what I can when I can, but normally nine times out of ten when you search Freightliner Classic and how to, my videos pop up on Google. Um, so yeah. But on that note, once again, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, thank you once again for watching. I appreciate it. Leave a comment and tell me what you think. Uh, if you think you can do this yourself, drop a comment down below. Let me know. Um, but like I said, guys, it's easy, man. If I can do it, you can do it too. All you just need is some basic tools, spray paint. That's it. But alright guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.